after clicking on the code, I bet you want to learn how to use the assault bike or it's more affectionate term, the air bike. This might be one of the more intimidating machines you see in the gym, lots of moving parts. Uh, it makes a lot of noise if you ever hear somebody on it. Uh, it makes for a really good warm up tool. Also makes for a very good short interval blast kind of cardiovascular exercise, okay? So let me show you how to set, set it up for yourself and get you going on it, okay? First, there's a computer on here with a whole bunch of numbers and buttons showing how, how, how long you've been riding for, how many watts you're putting out, how many calories you're burning. I'll let you play with that. It's fairly straightforward and actually not that important. The important thing is you get on it and you use it, okay? Now the adjustments uh, have to do with the seat and the seat height. Now, if you watched my video on how to set up a spin bike, I went through some details on how to get that seat height just right. That's the less important here because you're not gonna be spending more than a few minutes at a time on this thing. So your, your perfect seat height isn't critical. But I will show you, it's a little finicky. There's a knob here to adjust the height. Um, what you wanna do is loosen it and you loosen it for a while. It turns and turns and turns and turns. And there's pre-selected holes that you're gonna to have to pick. You can't go between those holes. So I'm gonna keep loosening this until the knob, there we go, until it pops out. And that lets me change the height of the seat. I'm gonna let go of it and then with the seat post until I feel that pin engaged. And now I'm going to tighten it, all right? So take a bit of time to do that. Don't over tighten it, just nice, just a, a gentle stud mix, okay? That's that. Uh, just like with the spin bike, the seat can go forwards and backwards. So same idea, there's a knob underneath here. I'm gonna turn this again for a while until I can feel it pull out. Oh, not yet, not yet, it's coming. This one goes for a while. There we go, now it pulls out. Now the seat can go back and forth and there's only a few holes in there. So pick one that works for you, tighten it up. Um, you're gonna try it, trial and error works the best on this. Don't over tighten, there you go. Now I'm gonna get on it. And this is where you can feel like a goofball. As soon as you step on a pedal, one of these handles moves and punches you in the chest. So just be willing to, to uh, be brave, okay? All right, so you're gonna get on it. So now the arms and the feet are always gonna to go together. Uh, and that's that. So you can use the legs more to make the machine move. You can use the arms more to make the machine move. Um, the faster you go, the more wind comes out of here. There is no resistance setting. There's no gears. If you want this to be harder, you simply work harder. And the fan in the front uh, pushes against the wind harder. And now it's harder for you. That's it. So that's a really nice, simple way to go. A nice machine to use uh, if it's hot in the gym and you just need some air blowing on you. This does that for you. There is one feature. There's little hand, There's little foot pegs. Um, up beside the handles that your feet can rest on if you want to just make this an arm exercise, okay? Remember those pedals are turning back there. So make sure you stop the arms before you try to get those feet back on the pedals. Otherwise your shins might not thank you for that, okay? Uh, that's the, it's called an assault bike or air bike. Um, best used for a gentle warm up, gentle cool down or short bursts of inter um, interval exercise, all right? So there you go, you got it, now get on it, have fun.